think Boris, uh, his speech, it was, it was just extraordinary. That wasn't a victory speech. I think he realises that he's got it wrong and that this is really, really, really serious. And I just hope that we can actually have another referendum because I think a lot of people loser. actually... Loser. Uh, loser. Uh, that that means that, well, I'd rather, I think actually I'd rather I'm not sure be it is, a bad I'm not, loser. I've got more important no, I'm not sure it is a bad loser heart. because people actually feel that they have been lied to and that's what people they have. People have been people, lied there's so, to. There's so much more voter regret than I've I, ever seen before. Most people say... You're not having a clear illustration of why the vote went why it did. I think people are going to be surprised with Boris Johnson. He's probably the likely next Prime Minister of this, this country. Actually, you look at his record. He was championing the living wage mm -hmm. before other Conservatives. He same-sex marriage. And he opposed the tax credit cuts that George Osborne but, proposed. But talked, He's much more of an interesting about Conservative the, 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 sort of the, the Burnley mm. divide and the, the, the metropolitan elite. Paris, what about the generation divide? Because that is really quite striking. The under 45s would have clearly voted to stay in, and the over 45s have clearly voted to take us out. Well, there was a great headline on Vice today uh, which said, Grandma, what have you done? And I think that a lot of millennials will be feeling that this morning. I think it's incredibly selfish, and I personally will not forgive Why selfish? or forget. Because the older generation don't have to live here as long as the younger generation so do. So are we going to introduce, uh, uh, for example, a cut-off point <laughs> beyond which you can't vote? Well, are you recognising no, no, your, no, sense, no, of sorry, your sense of no, sublime self-entitlement? No. Are we going to have those under 35 with two votes? Hang on a minute. Young, young, young people, young, young people, young people, people, young people have make... already had so much taken away from me. I don't need to take away my airtime as well, Mrs. Starkey. So what we're actually looking at is you a generation of people question. who've... Well, you you're not question. letting me because you're interrupting me because you're a privileged white man who just wants to speak over me. And this is the problem. Young people are getting very sick of it, sick of being spoken over, sick of being passionised. And we, we, we have and to pay for our education in the way that your generation didn't have to. You know, we're just... Everything that gets taken away, young people are being cut out. First, I think there's a lot of frustration... And, you know, for, for young people, you're actually somewhere where we and go on holiday and go and clubbing. Think, you know, we the, don't have this xenophobia. And the young vote is going to be vital in Scotland. We, of course, the Scottish referendum included 16-year-olds. They were massive in the turnout. And I think that this is what we, we also... I noticed Nigel Farage saying, well, we can engage with the Commonwealth. But I've been watching the Australian media who have been saying today, why are we still linked to this country? It's going to be so diminished, they're going to lose Scotland, possibly Wales. Then the Commonwealth is probably due for the top as well. Is, is this 